morning and um, welcome to my channel again where I'm doing the GCSE um, science and math revision just to help you with your revising and uh, preparation for your GCSEs that's really really closer than when we started doing this countdown from 40 days to the exam when we started doing this revision all right Today, I want to look at the maths in science. I've done a bit of uh, this uh, explanation before when I did my live uh, video on Facebook and on Instagram about a week ago. But because of the questions I've been receiving, I just decided I am going to do it again. So if you're taking the GCSE um, science exams this 2018, the new GCSE, that's the 9 to 1 <clears throat> grading system, this is what you would and find on the papers. If you're doing the biology, it's 10% uh, 10 of the questions will be math questions, the chemistry is 20% and the physics is 30%. But I'm going to now show you the actual topics. So the topics that will be covered are rounding, standard form and order of magnitude, estimates and significant figures, averages, simple probability, algebra skills and graphs. These are not very difficult maths questions. As a matter of fact, I, I don't believe that maths is difficult. Math is easy. You just need to understand the way it works. And then you can do it. And don't you forget, you are allowed a calculator when you do the, the science paper. So, you, you know, that's a bonus. So you don't need to waste time. Just use the calculator. So today, very specifically, I'm going to look at rounding and significant figures. And eventually, I'll look through the rest of the maths questions within the next uh, two days that's what i'm going to do so for rounding and significant figures you need to note a few things the first one i'm going to explain i'm going to actually explain with numbers so they make sense to you so if you're giving say these numbers for example and it's a question about significant figures Look at that. This is the first significant uh, figure. That's the second, third, fourth, fifth, and sixth. Please watch this and compare it with not point not not seven six zero. In terms of significant figures, that is not a significant figure. That's not, that's not. So this would be your first significant figure. That would be the second and that would be the third. So basically, the numbers before an actual number, they're not significant figures. However, when you've gone past the decimal position, every other number, including the zero, becomes a significant figure. All right? This is slightly different in terms of decimal places. Decimal places starts from the beginning. Whether you have a zero or not, they are decimal places. They occupy decimal places. I hope that is clear to everyone. All right? I needed to quickly explain that to you. So if you've been told to round off this particular number, I have written very specific numbers here from the exam board resource, uh, resources that were produced. Uh, specifically this is from the AQA exam board I am sticking with the resources because like I've been saying again and again this is the new GCSEs we don't have past papers for this exam but we have resources assessment resources that have been released by different exam boards and that is what we are using so if this if you find a question that says um, as example round this number yeah this number to three significant figures say you finish your calculation or you're giving a number so 2.837076 if you want to reduce this to three significant figures remember this is the first second and third so you should you, your answer some people will be tempted to write their answer as eight uh 2.83 now you have to be careful this is where the rounding comes in this is the first, this is the first, second, and third, all right. But there is always one mark reserved for the final answer. Because when they ask you to reduce something to three significant figures, it means they have, re they have reserved one mark to, to, to prove or to check 
whether you've done the right thing or not. So you need to check the number next to the third significant figure. Now, because this is seven, we are going to round out. We're going to call it one and add it to this three. So our actual answer is going to be 2.84. If, for instance, our numbers were 2.83, uh, 4, 0, 7, 6, because this is less than a 5, would throw it off as it were. We do not bother with it. Our answer would have stopped and that this would have been okay. But it is in this instance, this is the right answer. And that is to three significant figures. So what I've done, I've just used that very simple example to, to check with you, to explain to you uh, how to both round and write significant figures. All right, I'm now going to show you another one. Okay, if you're giving this, I just want to use a couple of examples to en ensure that you um, fully remember it, or if you did not know it before, to help you remember it properly. Now, remember I told you this is not a significant figure, that is not. And we're still reducing this number to three significant figures. So what you do, this is your first, second, and third. So like I told you, after the decimal place point, all the, all the numbers count as significant figures. So we're going to write 3, 6, but obviously it's 0, 0.0, yeah, 3, 6, because the next number to the third significant figure is 1, that does not count, so it's going to be three zero point zero three six zero. That is your answer for that particular question. Now, I have one last example that I've written down from the exam board's resources in explaining how to round off and to write significant, significant figures. <clears throat> this is also asking you to write this in three to three significant figures. Zero is there. Nine, nine, zero, nine. Watch this. Remember, these do not count. So you're going to actually start counting from nine, nine. Some people might be tempted to write zero. Remember, you look at the number after the third. If it was two, two significant figures, would have been this would have been our second significant figure. That would not be important. But this is important. This is important because we are asked to reduce to three significant figures. Therefore, we're going to reduce. We're going to round that down to one, and we're going to call it. Well, because it's more than five, we call it one, and we add it to zero, and we end up with. This. So this would be the answer. So that's that on to on significant figures. I'm also going to quickly explain estimates to you. In estimating, if you're giving, say, a space with living things like so, I'm just going to do it random. Let's say it's all covered up. Let's say, um, all right, don't worry. I'm just going to draw it. Let's say these were animals or creatures or birds or something you were given and you're asked to estimate how many there are a very quick way to do it you can measure that side quickly with your ruler say that is 10 centimeters and that is uh, 10 say uh, 10 by 10 for example you know it's going to be 100 square meters square root so if you just do uh, a portion like so, you count how many there are, and then you can just split this up in uh, portions. You just, uh, if you didn't have a, if you measure it, that's fine. But another very quick way is if you could just divide it up. So if five, five, um, I'm not drawing this to scale, so it's a little bit um, out of place. So, but if you just like divide them up, say in four parts, for instance, if you divided them up in four, in four equal parts, yeah, because you're doing a quick estimate. If you divided them up in four parts and you counted this portion and you realized that you had about one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten in this one, you can just do a quick estimate to say if you've got ten here, ten times four should give you a total of forty. That is a very quick way of doing an estimate. If you want, if you, if you are, uh, <clears throat> If you if you have a, a number to multiply and you 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 uh, you're asked to round it up or use a very quick method to round it up, I've also pulled up some things to help you do that very very quick uh, quickly when you're asked to use approximations to estimate values. Say for instance, you are asked to use approximation to evaluate 
9.9 times 41. A very quick way to do it is to round up very quickly. If you round that up to 10 and you round that up to 40, round that down to 40, you will discover that 10 times 40 is much easier for you to work out very quickly. I'm going to also use another number. Remember, this is under significant figures, rounding up and estimation. These are the, these are the three topics I'm looking at. Uh, this evening, say I pulled up another one. If you're asked to use approximations to um, estimate the values of these numbers, this is what you should uh, do. All right, we're going to just round that down to 20, round that up to 0 0.4, uh, actually 5. We divide and we call that 2. Once you have this, it's really easy for you to work out because all you just get would be to call that, you can say that is uh, 10 times um, 0.5 or 20 times 0.25. And in, e in either case, uh, if you do it that way or this way, your answer is going to be 5. Like I said, it's a really quick video for me. I've already done standard forms and, and this before in the past, but people were asking, I just thought, oh, you know what? I'm gonna quickly go over it again. So remember, I've listed the topics, averages, graphs, and all that. I'm gonna also prepare tomorrow to look at some of the examples that you could be you, you might meet with in exam. These are the simple maths that you calculate when you do your science papers. They're really easy and you should not miss any of them. Sometimes some of these marks are like three marks. These questions, they, 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 take, they carry up to three marks, sometimes two marks. It's usually a minimum of two when they're asking you to do a maths question. The graph ones, they're very easy. I'll look at those uh, tomorrow or next, but by, by um, Thursday at the latest, I would have gone through all these maths topics. Because what I'm doing, I'm trying to look at it, uh, how it cuts across all this, all the examples in England to make sure everybody taking different examples, theirs is covered. If you have any questions or if you want me to look at any other thing, just pop the question in the comment box. And the, those of you that ask questions, I gave you um, the answers I gave you, I hope uh, that's, that's been good enough. It has helped you in, with your preparation. And whatever you do, keep revising. If, don't ever give up. Don't ever give up. It is not over until it is over. You must keep positive because you know what? You can pass. Remember to keep a positive attitude. Keep Create a positive atmosphere around you. Parents, grandparents, uh, pe carers, people that, that work with young people, if you're watching this video, please, I beg of you, continue to encourage them. Carry on telling them that they can do it. Yeah, it's stressful, I know. Exams are not easy, but you know what? You can do it. And I am praying for you, and I know that you will do it. You will do it. You've done other things in the past. Yeah, you've done nursery, you've done primary. This is secondary. You're capable. You can do it. Keep going. And God bless you.